Hello all you amazing people out there. Whether you're an online teacher or an online student, you will very likely need to upload videos to Canvas. Now, while you can upload videos using your desktop computer if it has a built-in camera, occasionally it works better to be able to use and shoot a video with your phone. Now, this video tutorial is going to walk you through shooting with your phone and getting that video uploaded to Canvas. My name is Huck Stewart and I'm a learning designer. And more and more I see the need for teachers and students to upload videos to Canvas. Canvas, whether it's an oral presentation that they're required to turn in or instructional videos that teachers are required to put on their pages to teach the students. And while built-in cameras on computers do work, mobile phones are a lot more, well, mobile and you can use them to shoot demonstration videos or projects or presentations in a new way. Step one on this tutorial is get your hands on a camera. Most of us will likely have access to a smartphone which does have a built-in camera to it. So pick the place that you're going to shoot, preferably with a lot of light, and make sure you're in a quiet area where you're not gonna get a lot of noise and distractions. So position yourself in a comfortable spot and set something up that you can put your phone on. If you have a tripod, that would be preferable. But if you don't, you could just like maybe place some textbooks in a box up on a table or something like that. Set your phone to video mode and place the phone down. Go ahead and hit record. If it's an oral presentation and you just need to talk to an audience like a group of students or a teacher, then just do your presentation. Make sure you have all your materials ready to go. Once you're finished, stop recording. Always take some time and double check your video to make sure it came out the way you wanted it to. Make sure you listen to it and make sure the audio comes through clearly. If you like your video and you're ready to submit it to Canvas, go ahead and move on to the next step. So there are basically two ways to get this video to Canvas at that point through your mobile device using the Canvas application or by sending the video to a computer and then uploading it there. I will show you both ways of doing that. Once you do have your video done and you'd like to upload it using the mobile application, make sure you have the Canvas app. Once you load it, it will show you all of your courses. Now there's one place where you can actually upload files. If you click on the top left corner and click on files, you can click the plus button at the top right corner and add a file. From here, it allows you to record an audio or record a video using your camera, just like we did. You can upload a file link or you can go to your photo library. This is where your videos would be, is under photo library. It shows you all the different videos and photos. Select the video and choose. The longer the video, the more time it's gonna to take to compress and upload. Once it's here, you can go to the assignment and upload it there. Alternatively, if you go directly into an assignment, you can upload it in an assignment when you click on submit and rubrics. If you are a student, this is where you could upload the video file. Now, if that works for you, great, you're done with this video. But if you wanna see how to send the video file to a computer and then upload on a computer, stick around, I'm gonna show you that next. So if you do wanna upload on your computer, the very first step you're gonna to need to do is get the video file from your phone to the computer. Now you can do this a number of ways. If you have your USB connection device, you can click it right there and plug it into your computer and drop it onto your computer that way. You can send the video file as an attachment in an email or a text message. You can upload it to a cloud storage device like Dropbox. Bottom line is your computer and your device, you need to figure out a way to connect those. Most people are pretty comfortable being able to send photos and videos to their computers. So my favorite way to do it is to send a video in an AirDrop since I have an Apple computer. So I go to my videos, click in the video I need to share, and then click the share button at the bottom left corner. Once I do that, on the AirDrop, I can actually see my computer device that's connected. So I click on that, and it sends it to my computer. So at this point, you should have your video files saved and stored somewhere on your computer. Now it's time to go to the assignment or page that you'd like to upload the video to. So if I was a student, I'd go to the assignment, Click on that assignment. So as a student, you're gonna see a button at the top right corner that says submit assignment. When you click on that, it gives you options to choose a file. If I click on choose file, so click on the video file and click open, it will upload the video here. Once I hit submit assignment, that will be sent to my teacher for grading. So if you're a student and that's all you need to learn, then you are done with this video tutorial. If you're a teacher and you need to know how to upload your video file so that students can see it, stick around, I've got one more thing to show you. Edit whatever page or assignment or quiz or discussion you want your video to show up at. Go to the space that you want the video to be on your page. 
I usually like to put it on its own line, so I'll click arrow down here. And then there is a button right here that looks like a little video play button and music icon. You click the drop down menu here. It gives you an option to either upload or record media or use course media if you've saved the video file somewhere in your course media already. Since we already have the video file, we just need to upload. So I click on upload. It says drag a file here or click to find your file browser. So if my video is right here, I can just click and drag it down and let go. So there's my video. I click submit. So the longer the video, the more time it will take to process and so make sure you give yourself plenty of upload time. There it is. Don't forget to hit save at the bottom of your page. And now students will be able to see that video and play it. There it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this video tutorial was helpful for you. I'm going to make more of these, so consider subscribing. Have a great day and be excellent to each other.